Yo, what's going on guys, it's CJ. Just bought a house and we have peach tree windows. Never had them before, but these are different than normal windows. They have these locks, peach tree locks, and we painted everything white as you can see, but we wanted to replace the locks because they were missing handles. Some of them were broken to the point where it's just literally falling apart. So the first thing you need to do is unscrew the screw, which is right in here. Show you this one. It has a screw right there inside. So you're gonna unscrew that. It's one screw. Keep the screw. Because if you want to buy these online, you can get them on a website called PWD. I'll put the link in the description. But it's just a uh, brand new lock. And unfortunately, they did not come with the screws. I don't know why. So keep the screws because you will need to use them for the white ones. Okay, in order to take your screen off, I forgot to mention this. If you don't know how to take the screen off of the window, you're just gonna press down from the top, it has a little lip, and then I'll show you why it does that. The bottom has a metal spring to allow you to do that. So when you put it back in and you get your lock finished, you're gonna put it right in the groove. Make sure it's flush on both sides and just push down and then it kind of locks in on its own. That's all you got to do with the screen. And the second part, you need to pull this rubber back in order to access the locks. And the rubber also goes in the lock. It has its own groove that the rubber goes into. So here's one that we already replaced, my wife and I. And I put the screw in, as you see. And this lights the genius. And then my wife's a genius and I'm not supposedly. So anyway, Here. we were trying to get this one off. As I said, it might just fall apart on you after you unscrew it. So the lock has two insert pieces that go into the wall. So you need to get these out. The problem is that since it's so corroded, it might break off on you. And I'll show you what to do if that happens. But So get your spackle knife and slowly, gently pry this out and try to get it out just like this. If you can, you see that? You see how it's coming out slowly without breaking it. These break, you're gonna end up seeing them inside the holes and what you're gonna need to do is drill them out with the drill bit. Okay, so I'll show you how to put one in now. So here's the white one. The holes should be exactly the same. There we have the actual indents of the other ones. So you're just gonna slide it in close, just like this, and then open it, and then you're gonna put your screw in there. So now that you got the lock mechanism in and your screw, you're going to put the rubber back in place. You're just gonna slide it right into the grooves, and it should just snap right in to the lock itself. All right, so close your window. Still working on the bottom, but I want to show you that the top works. Now the window has to close all the way. If it doesn't, it's not going to lock and grab. So it's locked. It's locked. There you go. And that's how easy it is to replace these. But I do want to show you one that is warped. Not necessarily, it's not corroded. It's not the right word. All right, so if they get stuck in here like this, grab pliers and try to lightly Grab them and lightly grab it and pull out straight as you can. And that one came out like that. That worked perfectly. But if it doesn't, you're going to have to drill it out. So let's see if we can grab this one. Oh, they both came out. Look at that. Awesome. So this lock that was in this window is really deteriorated. Point where even if I try pliers, it just will not budge. So in that case, you're just going to have to get a drill. And a drill bit. The size that will work best is a one-fourth drill bit. It's gonna go right in the middle and just start drilling forward. I would put it on the highest setting of your drill right there. All right, so once you drill out all the plastic, just blow it out. Go ahead and put your lock in there and it should go right flush with the wall. It has to be flush. If it's not flush, it's not gonna work right. All right, put your screw in. Once the screw's in place, make sure the lock is open. The black metal part has to be out and close the window. And there you go.
Like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.